Hi everyone, it's Shilpa here just with a quick video for Wild Orchid Crafts and today I want to be um, doing a tutorial video on how I alter an A5 book. So I'm going to get started and show you guys what I'll be altering. So it is this um, book here and you can see a bit of the residue left behind from the sticker but that doesn't matter because I'll be covering the front and back. It's closed with this elastic here and it's just really nice quality um, colouring paper. So I'm just going to get started. I'm going to leave this um, band of the back for the time being and I've got a few things um, in front of me to get started with. So first of all I've got some um, coordinations cardstock that I'll be using um, to cover the base and these are the two, um, the front and back. So it's lighter on one side, darker on the other. And I'll also be using the um, Graphic 45 Gilded Lily Ephemera Pack for this. Okay, so um, the sheet, or should I say the topper that I'll be using for this is this beautiful um, image here. And I'm sorry about the glare, it's really sunny outside. Okay, so I'll be using this um, one here which goes quite well with the papers that I've picked out and also some really pretty World Ocker Craft flowers which I've already got out so <clears throat> I'll just quickly show you guys so I've got some beautiful rosebuds I've also got some lilies you can see there and I'll give you all the codes below and I've got these really cute fabric flowers and also some trellis roses and cabochon here which I'm sure I'll find a use for on this particular project. So the first thing I want to do is decide what side I want and I think I'm going to go for the textured side of this um, paper. I'm just going to quickly rough up the um, edges on this, just going to use my scissors and give it a quick distressing, not much, just a bit. I'm just using my scissors for the edge. Okay, so I'm just going to bob that down there so I'm not being too neat with this because it's going to get covered anyway, most of this anyway. So I've got my Collal glue, which I use all the time, and I will be putting this on with Collal and not with hot glue. Okay, so that's going to go on the front like so. And I've picked out some doilies and bits and pieces that I want to use. So I've got this white doily here which I'm going to actually make it quite rough, nothing too neat because I want it to look shabby. So this is where the hot glue comes in. And I'm just going to randomly put glue. And I'm going to try to scrunch this up. I'm not being neat with this at all. Like so, and because this is on paper, I'm going to back it with some. You can put your fold pads on there, but I'm going to put some waste um, cardboard so it gives it a bit more sturdiness. And I'll put this on with collal. So let's give it some 
firmness there and I'm also going to put bring in some pink things so I've got this pink doily here which I'm going to have in this corner some hot glue on there so just want loads of layers I've also got some vintage um, ribbon or lace should I say and I'm going to be making a double bow with one of these and that's going to go on there as well so for a double bow it's going to loop it to create a rough bow and that creates a really nice rough vintage looking bow Like that and I think I will have this okay I'll put that on at the end I'm gonna actually start putting the flowers down okay so first of all I'm gonna put my main image lots of glue far and then I've also got some extra pieces of lace from my little stash of you know bits and pieces that we all keep so I think I'm gonna probably drape this there just to give it some extra lacy look put that there and then again it's a bit more pink as well so it looks nice bring this in here take it down put that there so it doesn't go anywhere and I will put the bowl down actually And I'm going to stick these little bits so I know they're not going to come in front of the image even when you handle it. So just snip the corners, made them look all nice and fancy. Okay, and then I'm going to stick this bit there. I'm going to do the same here, just cut these at an angle. And again, I'm just going to give some dimension with them. Stick that there. And I think I'm going to just stick this one just there. Okay. So that's how it's looking. Already really cute. Okay, on to my flowers. And I think I want my flowers kind of up this corner here because there's quite a lot going there or I could have it there at the top and bring it around so I'm going to get started with my flowers take the backs off my roses actually I will I think I will have it coming down from that corner so I'll start off with my biggest flower which is this trellis one put it there I've also got this cabochon that I want to use, which is a really, really nice cabochon and I think I'm going to tuck it in somewhere. I 
I'll have a bit, I'll have a bit more, a few more laces I think tucked behind here. So I'll stick to that in a minute. And then I'm going to go get my beautiful um, mixed lily flowers from this pack. And MKX197 is the code. So I've got the blues and the pinks from this one. Take the backs off. And I'm going to just arrange them nicely around that rose. Get a stick in. And then I'm going to stick this as well. I love using these lilies because they are just so, so adorable. And then in between these lilies, I want to add these stunning rosebuds. And this is from this mixed pack here, which is GST014 Mixed Pink Tone Rosebuds. And I like using odd numbers per cluster. So there's three here. And I'm going to just do this and put them behind the lilies. So I'm just going to get some space here. And they'll just be peeking through like so. I'll do the same on this side. This time I'll keep the stems a bit longer because I want them kind of coming down here. So let's twist this. So we've got a nice cluster of three. some space in between these two put them in give them a little shape on the stems and that's how that corner is looking and then I've got these beautiful fabric flowers that I want to use and I just think they're just so adorable and they're from the fabric blossom flowers and this is the code MKX309 and I'll just take individual flowers and stick them on randomly okay so I think I want a bit more filler up here so And they're just really good because you can manipulate the petals and use them. And I think I want probably have a couple of um, rosebuds down here. Probably three rosebuds down here. I'm gonna quickly shape these three. You don't have to be too careful with how you do it. Just wiggle them about. And I think I'm going to have them just peeking out of here. Plenty of glue. Like so. I'm going to have one more. Here. And I think I want some maybe, um, I'm going to take this trellis and peel back a couple of the petals, make it a bit smaller. And then I might pop that in between there. And I think it's screaming out for a bit more pink. So what I'll do, I'll also add a bit of pink here. And I think what I'll do is add a 
Um, just thinking. Another little lily, and this is cream and pink, which goes quite well with all of the things that's going on. Just thinking where to put it. I think I'll have it just there. right at the corner of the page okay so I think that's looking really really great and what's left to do is remove the glue strings first of all and then just do the back so just manipulate your lace as well this is going to add a tiny bit of glue there That's how that's looking. And then on the back, I've got this piece here, which I'm going to again slightly distress with my scissors. I will sort out in one second after I put this down. So let's just sort this bit out first. Again, collar glue all around the edges in the middle. And once this stuff is on, it doesn't go anywhere, so I'm going to put it quite central. Okay, and then where this band comes round, just going to stay on top of the flowers. And I'm just going to, because it's too black, I've got some studio oops um studio blank canvas and i'm just gonna distress this as well so it goes well with the shabby kind of a look probably add a bit of this paint on my flowers just to give them this shabby look. And on these green stems. Okay, so I think that's it. My beautiful altered drawing book and this is how it looks so don't forget all the codes will be below for you guys so you can go and check them out below and definitely check out Wild Docker Crafts because I know at the moment there's a lot of new things in so you don't want to miss out on those and um, hope you enjoy this video so there's the back and this is the front again so I hope you enjoy this video let me know what you guys think and um, I'll see you again very soon. Take care. Bye.